Good morning boys and girls and welcome to Assembly. Today we've been joined by a special visitor in Assembly and I'm actually speaking really quietly because I'm worried about disturbing her because she's sleeping and it's Kayla the cat. She looks very comfy here actually. Yeah. She's sound asleep. I don't know how much longer she'll, longer she'll stay there to be honest. Once I start rabbiting away, she'll probably want to go upstairs and find somewhere nice and peaceful to lie. But it's kind of nice having her beside me just now. She's very lovely. Okay, so boys and girls, today in assembly, we are going to be thinking about some members of the animal kingdom, so animals, who can work together in a team almost as well as human beings can. These animals, they live together, they eat together, they play together, but most importantly, they work together. I wonder if you can guess which animals it is I'm talking about. Can you think of animals that you know that work really, really well as a team? I wonder if any of you managed to correctly guess the animals that we're going to be thinking about today in assembly. It wasn't very obvious. The animals that we're thinking about today that work really well together in a team, they actually live in groups of 30 called a mob. So the animals that we're thinking about today are actually meerkats. I just love meerkats. I think they're so cute and I think they're really, really funny. And I've got a little cartoon clip that I would like to show you in assembly today that features meerkats. It's a lovely story. It's all about a meerkat mob, so a group of meerkats who live in the African savannah, the African desert, and there is a unique and very special fruit that grows in one of the trees there. The meerkats just love this fruit and they guard it with their life. They work together to guard it really, really carefully because they just think it's so precious. And then one day, along comes a vulture and you'll see what happens.
Picture this. You're a meerkat and you have to dig for food. Problem is, you're so small that when you dig, you need to stick your head into the ground. Your bottom is up, which means you can easily become a tasty snack for an eagle or a poisonous snake. Meerkats take turns on guard duty, standing up high on a rock or in a tree, watching for predators while the rest of the team forages for food. If that's not teamwork, I don't know what is. Meerkats work together to share the load with one goal in mind, food. A real team shares the load and doesn't leave anyone behind. In school, this might be finishing a poster together or working together as a class team to make a new person feel welcome. But a really great team shares out the jobs to get to the end goal. So that was top tip number one. Now it's time for top tip number two from our friends, the meerkats. The sentry meerkat, the one that stands up high on guard taking care of all his friends, is an excellent communicator. In fact, all the meerkats have excellent communicators, but he is especially so. Meerkats have 30 different sounds in their vocabulary. And when the sentry meerkat is standing up high, taking care of the rest of his mob, he is constantly making bleeping noises to reassure them and to give them guidance about what they should be doing. I've got a clip to show you this now of the sentry meerkat communicating really effectively with his team. And if you listen really, really carefully, you will hear the bleeping noises that he is making to reassure his friends and to keep them all safe. While most of the family have their heads down, one member of the gang scans the horizon for danger. A self-selected sentry, in this case the dominant male, will seek the highest point available to stand guard over his feeding family. The steady bleep of his watchman's song reassures the rest of the gang that the coast is clear. It's one of 30 different calls in the meerkat's vocabulary. Did you hear the bleeping noises that he was making? He was an excellent communicator, wasn't he? However, the rest of the team, they were listening really, really carefully. And listening is important when you work together in a team as well. If the other meerkats weren't actively listening to the sentry that was on duty, they wouldn't know if there was any danger approaching at all. Time for top tip number three from our friends the meerkats. Something else that the meerkats really understand about teamwork is the importance of sticking together when times are tough. I've got a video to show you today which shows just how beautifully the meerkats stick together when they're facing trouble and how they can combat things that they wouldn't be able to do if they were on their own. We've come to the Kalahari Desert in Africa to witness one of Ma Nature's classic confrontations. In this corner of the desert, feeding on succulent bulbs, insects and small vertebrates, that sociable critter, the meerkat. In this corner of the desert, feeding on rodents, birds, other snakes, and of course, meerkats, with a nasty, deadly, venomous bite that can easily kill humans, the puff adder. You'd think the meerkats would vamoose out of there with a threat like this, but no. They bunch tightly together. They actually advance on the puff adder. Puff adder versus meerkat. 
Meerkat versus Puff Adder. Eyeball to eyeball, who's gonna blink first? The meerkats smartly wave their tails high in the air to focus the snake's attention there and to keep it from striking at their heads. The fuzzy, adorable meerkats actually have the puff adder retreating. The meerkat pups look on as the adults take care of business. I think we've got a winner. It's the meerkats in a unanimous decision. As the puff adder skedaddles, and the meerkats marinate in the glory of victory. Did you notice in that video how brilliantly the meerkats came together when the puff adder was threatening the group? How they bunched together, they stood up tall, they had their tails high up in the air to attract his attention up high and away from them. There is absolutely no way that the meerkat on his own could have scared away a big puff adder like that. They could only do it when they stuck together. So boys and girls, let's just take a moment to sum up the excellent lessons that we have learned today from our friends the meerkats. Number one, share out tasks to get the job done. Number two, Talk to your team, encourage your team, and reassure your team, but also listen carefully to your team too. And the final top tip is stick together and help each other out, even when times are tough, because together, everyone achieves more. Time for a little bit of fun, boys and girls. I wonder if any of you have seen the Compare the Meerkat adverts that are on the television which features our lovely friends, the meerkats. I'm going to show you a couple of these now because I think they're really quite funny and I think you'll enjoy them. Welcome to CompareTheMeerkat.com IT department. Sergey, we are making advertisement. Try to be professional. Okay, Sergey, in this shot, we are having a look at you doing some work. You are working hard and you are feeling the stress and you have uh, not been home for many days. It is a high pressure situation. Uh, have you seen the movie uh, Speed? Imagine you are in that movie Speed. Action! Now cap. So now we fix problem with new computer, my Bob. Three, two, one. Computer is not plug in, it's not working. Three, two, one. Son of a mongoose. Compare the meerkat.com. Compare the mo- Whoa, little wardrobe malfunction there. Take five, everyone. Come on, come on, rectangle. Compare the meerkat.com. <laughs> Cheap car insurance, meerkats. Two very different things. Listen there, Jingle. Compare the market. Listen mine. Compare the meerkat. Dot com. Don't even sound same. Compare the meerkat.com. Compare the market.com. Simples. So it's time for our song now. So still the same at the moment. We can't sing together, but we can still listen to songs together and we can still enjoy the music. And when we all come back together one day soon in the assembly hall, we're going to have a whole heap of new songs that we can sing together. And I'm really looking forward to that. So I couldn't resist today. The song that I have chosen for you to all listen to together at the end of assembly is brought to you by arguably one of the most famous meerkats in the whole entire world. Timon from The Lion King. Enjoy. Boys and girls, thank you very much for sitting and listening so beautifully to Assembly and I will see you all next week. Bye!